I'm Dr. Craig Premack, and today I'm going to talk about journaling for weight loss success. Journaling is a very important part of most people's diet plan. Number one, it helps us keep track of the calories we take in, knowing that mindless foods do matter in our diet plan. And number two, trying to correlate things that happen in our day with the will to eat or desire not to eat. There's two ways to journal food. It can be done with a notebook. On each page, start with today's date. Write down breakfast, lunch, dinner, and if you're having a snack or two or three, write down the food, the quantity, and then how many calories, protein and or carbs, uh, depending what you're tracking at, at this particular time. Another easy way of doing it nowadays, most of us carry our cell phone with you at, at all times. And the cell phone, there are many apps. The most popular ones is MyFitnessPal or Lose It. Uh, I find them both to be easy. Many foods that come packaged, you can actually scan the barcode and then it'll already have the nutritional information. All you have to add in at that point is the quantity that you ate. The second reason I think it's very important in weight loss to journal is for stress control and impulse analysis, let's say. So we all have stressful parts of our days. We all get into arguments. We all get stuck in traffic. We all have things that make our blood boil or that make us really happy, really sad, and so forth. And many times they do mesh with what we're eating. And so we may have a happy day and we want to say, oh, this is a good day. I want to eat this. Or we have a really horrible day and we say, you know, today I'm going to kind of feed my, my sadness or my stress with food. The journal, we write down the things that happened through our day, almost telling the story. And then we try to look back after a couple days and said, if I was stuck to my plan, did something interesting or not interesting happen that day? If I went off my plan, do I think there was a reason? And then the next time you're in that same situation, and trust me, there will be that same situation that happens again, how can I do it just a little bit better? 